how do I start this? Well, why don't I just start with my name? That'd be a great start. Hey guys, Jay Brooks. Back for a question and answer number three. I know I said I'd do more and more often, and the last time I did one was about two, two years ago. I've done two in four years, so I'm on top of my game right here. I'm on the ball. No, nah, jokes, but seriously, I've been really in slack at this. I've just posted on my Instagram now. I'm doing a Q&A. Can you see that shit? Can you see that? Yeah, that's a sexy mofo. That battery though, that's not sexy. That's devastating. Could die on me at any moment. Have to organize a funeral for this phone. Anyway guys, first of all, sorry for the lack of videos. I know that um, us as the Genossians, we've been pretty lazy. But also in saying that, we have been in Australia, not being lazy and um, spending time with our friends and family, spending Christmas there, spending New Year's and uh, you know, partying it up, sort of partying it up. If smoking shisha every night is a party, then I'll be partying it the fuck up. Let's go on to these questions. So, I posted this three minutes ago. There's already 700 fucking questions. So, I'll try to get through all 700. Now it's a thousand. I'll try to get through all thousand. Two thousand. Shit. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Hamlet! Every night, I have to face this. Oh. Mark coming through my door because there's no oh no I love you too because there's no lock on my door so he's coming in every night and waking me up all right um and by the way I'm wearing a jacket inside because it's fucking cold all right Mia Galinsky has asked if you weren't a if you weren't in the Genoskians where would you be now that's a great question because um before this Genoskian stuff I had no idea what I actually wanted to do with my life um I thought I was decent at drawing and um, somewhat artistic but um, I really do like creativity so maybe I probably would have tried to become a tattoo artist um, my mum always said I should make comic books but uh, it's too time consuming for me I'm too impatient and I think I have ADD because I can't sit in one place for too long so if I wasn't in Genossians I'd probably do something to, that's got to do with art um, he's scratching the fucking bed like a retard you good there boy? Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. When's he gonna learn? So, um, yeah, um, I, I'd actually have no idea. I'd be pretty fucked if it wasn't for Janoskians. I'd be a bum on the streets. I still am a bum on the streets, don't worry. This is actually a, a really brilliant question that I wanted to, um, cover during this video. It's from Jeno. I love you so much. Jenna, I love you so much has asked, why does Luke wear ugly sunglasses? I've wanted to find the answer to that my whole life and, um, you know, I think I have found the answer and is no one will ever know. Not even God himself will know. So that's a great question. Thank you for that. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't answer it and I'm sure no one else will be able to answer it. And um, thank you for not bagging my sunglasses. Even though when I post a picture wearing sunglasses, most of you bag the shit out of me and make me feel insecure. <laughs> I'm strong. I'm strong. I can, I can get over this. Yeah. XX Alondra XX has asked a fair dirty question, unless I'm taking it this the wrong way. She's asked bottom or top. For me, I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm just going to say uh, top. XX, what's with all these XX people? Alright, XX Tragic underscore Wonderland underscore XX has asked, what are your hopes and dreams for 2K16? Well, first of all, my hopes is to stay fairly sober throughout 2016 and um, not party that much and work hard and make a shit ton of videos, really practice my music, really practice the bass. Shit, I think I just broke it. Anyway, really practice the bass and um, yeah, keep making YouTube videos and just fucking kill it on YouTube this year. I'm being pretty open, no more, Tr really trying to cut back on smoking dope um the alcohol so and so far this year i have succeeded and i've stayed true to my word what are we january the 8th so well that's eight days without that shit i'm proud of myself i'm really really proud grace labishak so if i mispronounce labishak grace labishak has asked are you going to tour the us again and um the answer is fuck no stuff that mate fucking you it now of course oh, we love touring the US is um we got a lot of fans down there and um, it's a big place so there's a lot to see and a lot of places to tour around so um that's fuck I keep hitting this base so that's out of the question we're definitely 150 million 
billion, trillion percent gone into the US. My Instagram has frozen because um, there's so many questions coming through. It's, you know, it's stuck, it doesn't let me scroll, so it's being a piece of shit. Phone hates me. Uh, a nice little innocent sweet girl by the name of Alj Canless has asked, would you finger your ass? And, um, you know, why not, you know? Why, why not experience everything at least once in your life, you know? You only live once, so... Hey, maybe you can do it for me, but... <laughs> That's inappropriate. That's so inappropriate. Stop asking these questions, Jesus. Alright, I'm going to have to delete the Instagram app, reopen it, standard procedure. Ooh, Let's Fuck Genos has asked a number of questions. Are you excited to come to South America? Woo! South America. Beautiful babes, uh, great weather. How can I not be excited? And uh, it's really soon. I'm pretty sure February, March, we're going to tour. Uh, Brazil, Venezuela, um, Argentina, um, maybe Colombia. Um, sorry it's taken so long, we haven't been there yet. It's been about five years since we've been saying we're going to come here. Yeah, soon, 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 but it's actually going to happen. Touch wood. My whole room's wooded, so. Let's Fuck Genos has asked, uh, what do you think about your fans? And she's telling me to be honest, so I think I'm going to have to be honest with this one. Uh, you guys really, really mean so much to us, and, um, Obviously, so many fucking people say that about their fans, but you guys mean so much to us because really we're the laziest people you ever meet and um, we could go two months without giving any content at all and you still um, you still stand by us and you're still here to support us. So I don't know many fan bases that actually do that to their idol and I don't know how you guys put up with us and uh, our laziness but yeah you guys really do mean the world to me I wouldn't be sitting in this room in my very own room if it weren't for you guys I'd still be sharing with Luke on the, on the fucking bunk bed and that can get awkward at night when he hears that when he feels that bed shaking that can get really awkward yeah we really do love you guys and for you guys to be around after five years some of you guys are still here it just blows my mind that um your support is literally ongoing and you don't you know you don't lie about that when you say I'm here to support you forever. I actually believe a lot of you so yeah, endless love for you guys. That's my honest answer. But if I was to be really honest, you guys fucking piss me off. <laughs> jokes, jokes, come on, you guys know me. I would never say such a thing like that. Okay, Wes J has asked which tattoo was the most painful getting done? Most painful tattoo getting done was um uh... Alright, I'm gonna be a little slut and Show some skin. Excuse my sluttiness. Yeah, this uh, this tattoo really did hurt like a bitch. Um, mostly because while he was doing it, I couldn't see it once. Um, so just picture a needle going through your back for five hours, five straight hours, and you don't know what the hell is happening. So that made it really, really pain extra painful. So, and also this bad boy hurt too. Same thing. I couldn't see it happen and. The tissue under the arm is really soft. It's like a needle going through your arm as well, as well as like ripping hairs out at the same time. It's just, it's not very pleasant. Surprisingly, um, people say the elbow hurts the most, but I didn't, you know, I wasn't that um, affected by it. It felt rather nice, actually. I didn't get it finished though. Put that jacket on back on, cause it's cold. It's so cold. Jack, I'm so cold. Fuck off, Rose. You're on the door while Jack is in the water and you're complaining. You can't even let him on the fucking door with you. He goes through all that shit to save you. You go and get an axe and almost chop his fucking hand off and then you can't let him on the door with you. Alright, all right, that movie will forever piss me off. I don't know how tattoos led to that. I'm sorry. Yes, Luke Booty has asked, when you wear all black, is it because you're secretly a spy or because you're Hannah Montana? Fuck, you got me. Please don't tell anyone I'm Hannah Montana, please. Oh, you'll blow my cover. You'll fuck me up. Mariam01 underscore has asked, have you ever watched Bollywood? Um, now, I haven't really seen Bollywood, but what I have seen is the Cheetah Girls, and they went to Bollywood. Wait, did they? Bollywood um, dancing, it's pretty entertaining, I must admit. So, I should watch more of it. Glenroy Legends has asked, What's the worst part of living in LA? Um, the worst part, obviously, you know what's, you know the answer that's gonna come out of my mouth right now. It's um, you know, being away from all my friends and family back at home. Um, here in LA, I don't have too many friends. In fact, I'm pretty solo. I'm riding solo with my mom. 
with Bo's dog. He's not even my dog. Like, I don't have anyone. But yeah, I don't have many friends here. Um, so I'm pr I get pretty lonely at times. Yeah, I guess missing out on my family's life. That's um, that's a hard part of being in LA. You know, my grandparents are getting old, so I should really be spending as much time as I can with them. My mum, she's um, she's lonely without us boys. We were all that she had, so um, she can get pretty pretty down at times. So that's pretty hard to watch and you know to hear her tell that to me. So, but I hope that by the end of all this, that it's all worth it, and um, you know, we don't waste our opportunity, and you know, I can make something out of this and go back to Australia doing my family proud and you know buy my mum a house or something like that just I don't want to waste my time here. In saying that though I'm also very lucky to be here and um, I'm really lucky to be following my dreams and you know trying to be the best Janoskians we can be. Wow 3,000 questions! I didn't know I was that popular. Jess4 underscore X1 has asked do you guys read every comment you guys get? Um, at the start, when we first made our YouTube channel and we were first uploading videos, I used to read pretty much every comment that came through because A, there weren't that many and B, it was so new and exciting to me. But once, um, you know, we uploaded awkward train situations, we started getting a lot of hate and reading the comments would literally bring me down and, you know, I'd, I'd be somewhat depressed and like think about what I'm doing. The only way I did overcome that was by not reading the comments and um, and soon soon the, the nasty comments you just don't you know, get over them, you don't care because it's it's the internet, it's not the real world and um, people will never say the shit they say to you on the internet to your face like everyone's just a fucking keyboard warrior, no one in real life, everyone's a bit. They're never gonna truly say what they want to say to you in front of your face. You know, they just save it for the internet because it's so easy to do. You know, Wit underscore Stone Twelve has asked, "Are these hoes loyal?" And this is a question everyone's been waiting for. Um, my opinion, no, these hoes aren't loyal. Um, it's unfortunate these days. It's like Instagram and Facebook, and social media has fucked everyone up, and um. Yeah, I don't, it's hard to find a loyal girl these days. There are plenty of loyal girls, but just I don't think as many as there, there were. I think with all this social media, um, you just see anyone you like and then you can talk to them directly straight away. So it's it's harder to stay loyal. You know what? I don't think these ho hoes are loyal. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think they are. Janoskinator's land has said, come or period blood. <laughs> Oi, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Hamlet, 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 come on boy, Hamlet, Hamlet, not another beep out of you boy, oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry boy, I will never yell at you again, would I rather eat cum or would I eat, rather eat period blood, um, why the fuck do you ask these questions, um, at least period blood has a nice colour to it, you know, you can just, you can eat the period blood and pretend it's a fucking uh, uh, Kool-Aid or something. So I'll just eat the period blood and pretend it's Kool-Aid. Jeno, I love you so much, has asked favorite TV show. What's a good TV show to watch? And um, I really enjoyed um, this uh, Spartacus series. You have to uh, watch that. It's about gladiators. And um, that's probably one of my favorite series. Uh, I wish that it still went on, but they stopped after four seasons. And it's just so awesome, it's so gory, and um, so so many clever death scenes, and it's interesting, a lot of twists. You have to watch it. It's on Netflix, so it's um, so intense, it's amazing. You have to watch it. Okay, guys, this sums up my uh, question and answer. I think I did like 10 questions, so I will be back with another question and answer, and this time I doubt it will take me um, fucking 20 years to do another one. Hopefully I'll be back in a couple weeks. I don't know about this being a weekly thing because it will get pretty draining and I'm sure you don't want to know that much about me. If you have a, if you want to think about a question, then prepare yourself for two weeks time. Make sure it's a good one. I, sh I know I gave you late notice with this one. Anyway, stay tuned to the Genossians account. There's Sunday Genossians vlog, Twin Talk Time. So many videos gonna come out as well as a new series called Blended Thursdays on our Dare Sunday channel. So every Thursday we're gonna blend a whole lot of shit together and drink it because that's what we do best. I love you guys, peace, mwah. Oh, I'm still here, oh sorry. Didn't click the button, stop, sorry. Peace, mwah. Fuck.